A severe heat wave is absolutely melting much of the United States with temperatures up to 130 degrees Fahrenheit or 54 degrees Celsius in regions like California's Palm Springs and Las Vegas, Nevada. Hi, I'm Steve Hill, CEO of New Hydrogen. A hotter planet is going to require innovative cooling solutions. And in response, Japanese company Ibarra has developed a hydrogen powered chiller to meet the rising demand for sustainable air conditioning. This new technology offers a greener alternative for cooling systems, utilizing hydrogen to provide efficient, low-carbon air conditioning, potentially easing the strain on power grids during extreme heat events. Global innovation and applications for hydrogen continue as Japan is investing $26 billion into building the world's largest hydrogen fuel cell for aviation. Meanwhile, India's major companies are in the process of creating a $12 billion green hydrogen hub in Gujarat. These initiatives reflect significant advancements and investments in hydrogen technology to drive decarbonization and global clean energy goals. Last bit of news for today. Germany has committed to developing 12.5 gigawatts of hydrogen-ready gas projects to enhance energy system flexibility. This initiative supports the country's transition to renewable energy by 2030 by integrating hydrogen into its existing gas infrastructure. The plan reflects Germany's dedication to sustainable energy and reducing emissions, promoting innovation in hydrogen technology and infrastructure. These are just a few examples that worldwide demand for hydrogen, especially cheap green hydrogen, is on the rise. To meet this demand, New Hydrogen is working on a revolutionary new green hydrogen production technology called Thermoloop with some of the world's foremost researchers at UC Santa Barbara. If you'd like to follow our progress, visit newhydrogen.com and register for our free newsletter. While you're there, check out our library of exclusive hydrogen experts podcasts. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again next week.